Have you wondered how you can get CMM quality data on a part like this without taking it into a temperature control environment and being able to do it in situ on the shop floor? Well, you can now with a brand new app disc from Nikon. We've come to the Nikon open house because they've been showing off a brand new way to uh, inspect automotive assembly lines. Now we're here with Roy from Nikon. Um, Roy, what, what is so important about what you're showing off today? So um, our Aptis automated solutions are really intended to work in the automotive world, which is almost at the pinnacle of automation of all manufacturing. So typically we're, they're working with very short cycle times, high volumes and, and a, a real flexible mix. Now in that kind of environment you need to rely on the data, you need to get it in a timely manner and you need to really trust it. And so that's what Aptis brings to that particular solution. Yeah, absolutely. And when you're trying to inspect these uh, these kinds of components, the big components, mm -hmm. I guess they'd normally be manual, manual semi-manual, semi-automated. Semi Why is it important to try and automate an inspection process rather than just the manufacturing and the assembly? So automation um, brings a certain level of repeatability. If you take out a manual process, then you take out any kind of manual influence. It also makes it more cost effective, to be totally honest. Absolutely. So we've seen uh, demos all day today at the open house and presentations as well from the technology partners that have uh, helped put together this sale as well as the star of the show, which we're going to go and have a look at right now. And Roy, is it by magic? We're now in the machine, the, the, the automation cell. Um, and this is, the, this is the star of the show right here. What, what are we looking at? So this is APDIS. Um, it stands for Accurate Precise Distance Measurement. And it's the latest generation of our laser radar product. Yeah, absolutely. And, and what, when you're trying to automate a system like this, um, what makes Aptis really applicable to, to automating this inspection? So Aptis as, um, as a product now is a development of something that has been used quite widely within the aerospace industry for around about 20 years. This particular generation has been designed specifically with automation in, in mind. So it's been designed with the idea that it's got to be moved and stopped and with the intention of having integrated robot mounts. Absolutely. Now, how would this compare to, I guess, a CMM that might be used in industry, a laser triangulation system, okay. different options? How does this compare? So, Aptis uh, basically works by generating an infrared beam, directing it up onto a mirror in the head unit, and then directing that onto the part. So, using the, this technology, we can basically identify certain points in space, grab point cloud data, and then interpret that in software such as Polyworks or Spatial Analyzer or Metrolock. Um, the, the system itself differs from typical laser triangulation in that it's not really an optical system. It only relies on an energy return and there's a, there's a lot of benefits inherent in that. Absolutely, so let's talk a little bit more about the capabilities. So we've got an example car part here. Which kind of features would you be able to measure here? And, and this is kind of pre-painted. Yep. What happens when you paint with like a nice glossy red, like a Mustang red? <laughs> what, what happens then? Can you still measure the same parts? Yeah, so um, Aptis can be used in the body shop where you just have a body and white unpainted vehicle. You also have uh, machine components, which are typically difficult to measure with optical systems because you get very, very uh, difficult reflection, which again, is not really an issue for us just because of the way that the technology works. Once the vehicle goes through paint shop, it gets e-coated and then you get a nice glossy colour. We're kind of colour agnostic, so we don't care if something black or white or, or silver or grey, because again, the way that the technology works, it doesn't mean anything to us. We're just directing a beam and getting an energy return. Absolutely. Okay, let's talk about the accuracy and repeatability of the system now. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, uh, is there, are there more requirements for, for more and more accurate, accurate inspection systems in automotive right now? So, specifically with the, the I don't know, influx of EVs. Because of the way those vehicles go together, it's slightly different to a, a classic car being built. And you've got very large components coming together, which means you have to control accuracy very, very highly. Now, this is where Aptis really comes into its own because effectively we generate CMM quality data on the shop floor without temperature control, without lighting control, and without having to use any kind of adapters for difficult things like studs. So for that reason, it's quite unique to the market. Absolutely, and when it comes to, um, I guess, CMM level, uh, CMM, CMM quality data, does that mean you're also having to deal with CMM level of cycle times? Because it might take a long time to take a part off, take it to the CMM, 
bring it back again. So um, this is again quite an advantage for us because the whole problem or the whole issue of measuring something accurately in the past has involved you taking a part out of the process. Now Aptis supports that level of quality but in the process and because of the way that it works, because the system can be stationary but measure multiple features, it means that robot programming requirements are fairly low. So we can typically work within cycle times, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, get enough data for the manufacturer to control their process, plus adding in some additional data to, let's say, give some extra information. Brilliant. Okay, what are the knock-on effects of that? What does that mean uh, manufacturers can do? Okay, so because we're in the process and because we're giving CMM level data in the process, it means that they can launch a car quicker. So typical systems, when you install them, you need to refer them to a reference. That's a bit of a problem because early on in the production launch process, every part needs to go somewhere. So that process takes a long time and we simply don't need to do it. So it means you can generate data at an accurate level much earlier. It also means that when you make a change, you can really see the effect of that change and you can know and trust that what you've done is being reflected in the data that you see. Brilliant, so speed up your new model launches, um, get good, accurate inspection data much quicker than, than with other methods. Make sure you check out Nikon if you're looking for more automation inspection or any kind of inspection in the automotive industry.